What's going on guys, Zach here, and welcome to another Zach Talks video. Today I wanna to talk about getting your game onto Steam or any other real marketplace for that matter. I recently launched a game, as you may know, So Much Blood, onto Steam, and I went through a publisher. So there have been a lot of questions on you know, how I got it onto Steam and all that stuff. Um, so I went through a publisher but that's not the only way you can do it. The most conventional way to go about putting your game onto Steam would be Greenlight. Steam has a program called Greenlight, which basically you post your game. Uh, it doesn't even need to be a finished game. You can post an idea of a game even. And if it gets so many upvotes and so many views over a certain amount of time, uh, then Steam will actually uh, put that game onto Steam right there for you. So. Uh, the only thing with Greenlight though is it's kind of hard to get traction on it if you're just really starting out there in the game development world. You haven't really released anything big and uh, you are just trying to really get your name out there, get something on a platform. I chose Steam out of all marketplaces because that's the number one marketplace on the PC right now is Steam. So uh, definitely want to get your game on there, uh, but again, it can be challenging. So. I probably could have gotten it onto Steam uh, through Greenlight uh, with the help of you guys because you're awesome. Uh, but I decided to go with the publisher just because I really just wanted to have the experience of going with a publisher and seeing how the whole process would go down. So I use Black Shell Media and uh, I'm not endorsed by Black Shell Media at all to make any sort of video for them or anything. But I will tell you that they did treat me great. Uh, you know, there's been some things about Black Shell Media. Uh, some some of my viewers don't agree with them. Uh, some do. Some think it's a cool company. Uh, but just from my experience alone, I really enjoyed working with Black Shell Media. They they could answer all my questions. Uh, you know, they were never late to do anything, and they really just just anything I really needed or wanted. Um, they were right there for me. So uh, if you're starting out in development. Uh, and you know you don't have a backing and you don't want to go on green light uh or you you can go on green light because it is a hundred dollars so some people you know don't have the benefit of uh, spending a hundred dollars just on some game you know what i would recommend is trying to find a publisher out there that could get your game on yes you're going to get a split revenue so you're not going to be making as much money with a publisher but like i said it's really just about getting your game out there on the marketplace and being able to uh, put something that you created from you know just your thoughts and you were able to create a full-on game put it out onto a marketplace like Steam and have people play it that's that's why you're an indie dev uh, you know if you wanted to make money you would go to a, a, a studio that has safe income but you want to take the risk and you want to go out there and make your own products and make them great. So that is why I really respect indie developers and all indie developers, including you, even if you haven't uh, completed a game yet, but you are learning and you're practicing and you're creating these different projects. I, def I respect you for that because uh, it's just so cool to see, especially with the younger crowd now. Uh, like my brother, he's, he's 11 years old and he's, He's right there making games and, and doing all sorts of stuff. So it's really cool to see. So if you didn't want to go with Steam, there's plenty of other different options out there for a marketplace. Uh, you don't even need to put it onto a really a marketplace platform. You could put it onto something like uh, addictinggames.com or Miniclip or all of those sites, you know. Uh, it doesn't need to be that. But the only reason why I picked Steam, again, was because uh, it's the number one PC platform out there, so, um, yeah. All right, guys, well, that's going to be it for today. Go leave a like, go and subscribe. Let's go for 100 likes this time, and I hope this cleared up some questions that you guys were asking in the comment section because I know a lot of people wanted to know how I got my game on Steam. So I went through Black Shell Media as a publisher. I definitely varied. I was in between on whether I wanted to do Greenlight or uh, go with, with Black Shell Media up until probably a month before we released. So uh, it was, I chose with... The, the publisher, I had a great experience with it, and the stuff I learned just by uh, creating this game and going through publisher and going through the whole Steam process is something I would even pay to have. I mean, I just the knowledge I gained from this is great. So, um, I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.
Peace.